Um, I was treated very well. Uh, once admitted on the ward, everyone's looked after really well. They catered to all my needs. Um, I was really struggling to walk and stuff because of the infection in my foot. So I, they gave me a lot of assistance to go to the bathroom and to uh, just just make my stay a lot more comfortable. So it was brilliant. Um, for the future, it's just I think there needs to be some sort of consistency as per uh, communication between the doctors themselves. So if, for instance, f like my case, it was something a bit obscure that they need to communicate with other doctors and uh, other specialists, um, they need to maybe ha ensure that that's documented and everyone knows and is on the same page. Because I found on the first time, the first instance, I was having to repeat what happened, where it happened, to multiple people on multiple occasions on the same day. So it just it will just be a lot more helpful if I need to tell people once and they'll know and maybe ask further questions rather than having it um, having to repeat myself again and again and again. Right, uh, my experience was a bit disappointing to begin with last week, uh, last Friday. Um, they've moved the um, blood test, uh, uh, where they take the blood tests um, at Sandwell Hospital. They've moved it from ground floor to first floor. And I think it's temporary, but it's been temporary now for quite some time. Um, but obviously I take my father once a month to have his blood tests. And it was just a bit disappointing, the fact that when we got there at 10 o'clock last Friday, the queues was through the door, there was over 30 people, it's in a small room, instead so it's gone from a huge room to a very small area and in this small area there was tables and chairs and people were sitting there but the room was full so basically people was queuing outside the door but somebody actually passed out and obviously because of the heat in the room so but what, what concerned me more than anything was you take a ticket and I think it was at 92 and the ticket was 38 so that's how many people there was in front um, and I think I think what bothered me more than anything, obviously my father's 86 years of age. Obviously there was no seats outside the door, it was full inside, the seats out, there was the standing area. But the, what bothered me and it started me thinking this is not right was where you stood outside the door was people um, waiting to see a consultant. 